Good morning, YouTube. Dude RV. Hey, appreciate y'all stopping by. Right now, we are set up on Belton Lake, just west of Temple, not too far from Fort Hood. We are on our way south. We're done here. It was a one-nighter. From here, we're going to head over to Blanco State Park in Blanco, Texas. And on this trip, we're avoiding major freeways, so we don't have to go through major municipal areas, cities. It's December 27th, 2019. We're fast approaching the end of the year. So come along with us. Let's get on the road and head to Blanco State Park. Blanco State Park. Here we are. Took us a little longer than expected, but it always seems to be that way when you're on RV time. You gotta find, you know, stop and get gas, and you can't just pull into any gas station when you have a motor home. So anyway, we'll go over here. This is a neat little park. I've, been, I've driven by this park a number of times never been able to get a reservation during the warmer season but here we are we're in site number 30 and i'm really digging site number 30. there's a wi-fi antenna on the bathroom right over there so the showers are right across the way plenty of room to get the class c and the truck off the road it's water and 30 and you'll notice it's kind of deceptive <laughs> wheels off the off the ground i didn't i didn't think it had that much slope to it so water 30 amp 20 as usual kind of close on this side to the neighbor but but that's that's his problem more than it is mine because we don't have any we don't have any neighbors on this side now i'm pretty sure this is this road goes up to the 
park maintenance station where they have all the equipment. They're not going to be a whole lot of driving traffic. It actually gives us a good place to walk the ratty pack. Side to side, the pad is very level. It is asphalt. Wooden structure over the wooden picnic table. Have a combo fire ring and grill. A lantern pole and a tent pad. And we're gonna we're gonna jump on the little red and run around and go see some stuff. So stay tuned. Blanco State Park. All right. So if you come to Blanco State Park, just be advised it sits right by the highway. So you can see the cars running right there, and you're pro we're probably going to hear them tonight. But you don't have to have an RV, and you don't have to sleep in a tent. They've got some well-maintained screen shelters. I'm not sure how many they have. I count five. Anyway, let's go see some more stuff. All right, as as with many of our Texas state parks, Blanco State Park has a lot of structures that were constructed by the yeah. the, the New Deal CCC yeah. guys. And this is one of those structures. And they have the traditional dance patio pavilion on the back. Not quite as big as a lot of them that we've seen. And it's definitely not as smooth as most of them that we've seen. More to come. I've traveled upriver here in Blanco State Park. Kind of dead ends here at the, uh, I guess it's not technically a dead end. It's a gated entrance. And I would imagine back in the day when it was constructed that that was open for the public. Kind of like Mother Neff was a just an open park. This kind of caught my attention. Look at the, the size of this table. That's a big old long rock table. It's pretty down here. Oop, got, a, got sun in your eyes. All right, we're gonna run back up toward the front. Go see some more stuff. Blanco State Park actually has at least two playground structures there's one right here behind us i stopped to check this this out it talks about flash flooding on the river and apparently uh, we would be standing in water were we here in 2015 may 23rd 2015 this was full uh, flooded so we're gonna I'm gonna get down, see if I can get down here and check out the the dam. Go see some stuff. You, you would not believe how clear this water is. Unfortunately, you probably can't see you gotta be careful, it's very slippery. So I have crossed the Blanco River on foot. This park is just, just so beautiful here. No wonder I have such a hard time getting reservations. And I guess this is just a, a swimming pool. I don't know. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna go back across the river, get on the scooter. And that's right, we're gonna go see some more stuff. Well, those are little there's a developed trail here. 
I don't know how far down we're gonna go. We're right here in the town of Blanco, Texas, and as we came through the square, it looked it looked like a, a quaint little Texas Hill Country town, and Yappy really wants to go do a little exploring. I told her I had to take care of y'all first, and then we would take care of her second. No, I didn't tell her that. <laughs> I said, I, I gotta shoot my video. Got a bird blind. It looks like it's closed down for the, the season. It's kind of interesting that, it's kind of interesting the state park is right, right along this Main Street in Blanco. Kind of interesting. Wonder what it was. I'm I'm guessing that was probably a toilet. We were over there earlier. I think we're, this trail's probably gonna dead end up here at the, at the, at the bridge. Nope, dead end's right here. Be a nice place to have a little picnic. All right, let's go see some more stuff. That's the second the lower dam here in Blanco State Park. All right, let's go back up to the front and do our tour. On into the Real Ale Brewing and Real Ale Distillery here in Blanco, Texas. Since we've already seen everything there is to see at Blanco State Park. No, by the way, place across the road with the buffalo and all the antique looking stuff, $10 to get in. coming to an end here at Blanco State Park. Our visit to the brewery, distillery was, was interesting. Never done a flight of beers before. 
It's actually been a long time since I've ever I've had any beer. Uh, it was it was okay. It was interesting. Finally got a big fire to burn. I bought some wood at Lowe's before we rolled out of out of town. That stuff didn't want to burn at all. Blanco State Park. It's a pretty little park. It's very clean. Park hosts were very nice, very helpful. Got to ask you though. Do I really look like I'm a park host? Do I look like I work at Lowe's? Do I look like I work at Home Depot? It's like everywhere I go, and it must be the gloves that I wear because my hands hurt, but everybody is always asking me <laughs> for where stuff is. So anyway, a recap of Blanco State Park. This is, this is a you got to come see it kind of park. Uh, it'd be a great place to bring the kids because you can do some fishing and possibly, I think you can do some, I think you can go swimming in the river, the little lake they have. Uh, I don't know, it's winter. There's not too many people getting in the water right now. But it looks like they have a, a swimming area right at the dam. Lots of people fishing. Sites are pretty good. Uh, what else can I say about it? Restrooms were clean. That's always a plus. You do have to have a, a, a combination to open the shower door. And I guess that's to keep uh, narrow do wells from showering. I don't, I don't know why that is. But anyway, I'm gonna shut down the camera, put up the camera equipment. Sit here and relax. I have had more camera challenges here <laughs> at Blanco State Park. Getting ready to get on the road. Weather's supposed to turn bad today, so we're going to leave out early. Headed to Garner State Park. I've had nothing but camera mishaps since I got here. Anyway, maybe that'll all sort itself out once we get to where we're going. Blanco State Park, it's a neat little park. Uh, it's quieter than I expected. I, I thought I'd be hearing road noise from the highway over there, but, but I didn't. I'm very happy to say, no road noise. Need to come back when the, all the trees are green, and I know it will just be absolutely gorgeous. Hey, if you've enjoyed our visit to Blanco State Park, Give me one of those thumbs up. Share me on your social media. And remember, if this is your first visit, remember to click on the subscribe button and the bell as well. That way you'll never miss another episode of Dude RV as we travel around and visit all of our wonderful Texas state parks. For those of you who have subscribed, thank you. I'm deeply honored that you're following me along and I really enjoy meeting y'all in the campground. Met a, met a subscriber at, here at Blanco as well. So anyway, thank you. Y'all come back now, you hear?